Hey y'all, welcome back to A Man's Life with DG Hamblin. In this video, I show how to replace the glass in an RV or a camper window. And I should mention a few things before you watch it. First of all, I did not measure and order the glass. The owner did. Therefore, I don't talk about that process and how to do it. It's really quite easy though, and there are a number of websites out there where you can order glass to replace the one, the broken one in your RV or camper window. And those websites will walk you step by step through the process of how to measure and how to order. It really is quite easy. Just follow their step by step instructions and I'm sure you'll be fine. Now, you'll notice uh, this video is shot in two parts over two different days because the glass company sent us the wrong one the first time and I did not notice until, well, you'll see. Anyway, the company made good on it. It was their mistake. And so they sent the proper glass and we were able to get that put in without any real trouble. Now, I was very frustrated filming that second part because I was having some camera issues, so I really don't say much. Therefore, any pertinent information that you will need will be displayed as text on the screen. And with that, enjoy the video. Okay, so we have um, on this RV, we have a, a window and it was broken. Uh, I think a lawnmower threw a rock to it. But it looks to me like the glass here is put in pretty much the same way they are in residential windows so we're going to try to um, take this out and there's a new glass here that was delivered and we're going to see if we can get this in here so this this piece of trim needs to come out all the way around on the sides and up to the curve here this little bit here it's flexible this appears to be aluminum the same profile on the trim but i think it'll come out so here and here is aluminum or something rigid. And over here it's more pliable. Anyway, so we're going to set this up. Uh, we can kind of record it. You can maybe see what we're doing and um, see if we can replace this whole thing. That is what it is. Hopefully, no, there's not going to be a next time around. Hopefully, there won't be, yeah. So here's this piece we just took out and um, came out with a, a slight bow to it but I think it's not creased anywhere I think we can reuse it that being rigid it was doesn't come out in some ways it's a little harder in the soft ones but in other ways it's not so what I did was I um, was able to get my five in one behind here and just um, pry it outward just enough that it started and then once it started coming out I just took my five in one tool 
and just slid it along and uh, and got it out that way. So let's get this top one next. You can see it's going to leave behind a lot of glass that has to be cleaned up, but we'll do that in a minute. So these both came out in a similar fashion. The second one, as I was prying it, it bent. The second one, as I was prying it, it bent that end just a hair, but I'm, I'm relatively certain that I can bend that back. And these are straight enough. I feel good about being able to bend them back and put them back in place. So now, what you'll see me do is do something similar with this flexible trim piece over here. I'll take this flexible out next. It'll come out pretty much the same way, but it doesn't matter so much if it bends because it's flexible, right? And, um, and then we'll clean all this glass up, clean all the silicone off of it. We'll lay a new bead in there. We'll put the new glass was delivered the other day put the new glass in it and then we'll um we'll put the trim back i think this is going to work quite well it's a whole lot cheaper and easier than replacing the entire window unit Couple of things to keep in mind when you're doing this is that uh, you are dealing with broken glass. Uh, I recommend you wear gloves and, and don't just get any gloves. You can get relatively inexpensively um, Kevlar gloves that are thin enough you can feel what you're doing. Of course, the cows want to yell at me, don't they? Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, Kevlar gloves, um, they're thin, they kind of like cotton, they feel kind of like cotton, but the glass won't cut through the Kevlar and keep your hands in good shape. Uh, I haven't cut myself yet. And decent chance I might cut myself at least once because I did not bring Kevlar gloves with me. Something else to keep in mind is that if you look at the profile on this, I don't know if you can really see, it doesn't want to focus. There's a little lip on this bottom edge here by my thumb. So when this comes out, it has to come out and up at the same time a little bit so but once you get it started it comes out fairly easily all right let's get this uh, glass out of here and then we'll lay a new bead in there I'll try to keep the glass out of this channel anyway all right enough talking let's just do it Should have already had these. Sometimes little pieces of glass come flying off when you try to do this. So 
Uh, yeah, I highly recommend safety glasses and gloves, which I, I don't have. And honestly, I, I hate wearing gloves. But if I had Kevlar gloves, I would use them for this. And they are not expensive. Something to keep in mind when you're doing this is that um, this is an aluminum frame, at least on this window it is. I think most RVs uh, have aluminum framed windows. So um, if you scratch the, the surface of this, it's, it's, not, it's not going to affect the performance at all. Um, you know, and, and they can be touched up with a little bit of, of paint that matches. You just want to make sure that you don't, you don't bend this channel too badly. You don't want to bend it at all if you can. Um, and you want to make sure you get all of the glass out. A little bit of, of uh, residual silicone, some silicone residue isn't going to hurt anything, but if there's glass left in this channel anywhere, and I've got to work especially hard on this bottom part when we're done to get all the glass out there. But if there's any glass left in there, it could prevent it from sealing up properly, and it will also, or can also keep, the trim from going back into place as it should. Glad I had those safety glasses just then. Now, just a, a double check to make sure that the glass is all gone. So yes, I'm using my finger to find any extra glass. <laughs> like walking around barefoot in the house after you've broken glass on the floor, right? Your barefoot will find it. I don't recommend that, but it is what it is. A little extra silicone up here, a little more than I would like. This actually feels a little stickier than regular silicone. So they, they may have used some kind of a mixture that's an adhesive as well as, as a sealant. Uh, silicone is a good sealant by itself. It's not a great adhesive. In residential windows, silicone is fine. I'm wondering if in these, since it's on a camper, if these, uh, if on these windows they use um, an adhesive silicone blend or, or something. Anyway, just for a little extra assurance that it's not going to fall out when you're riding around. That appears to be all of the glass. I think we got it all. What do you think? Let's take a quick look. Take a quick look at this so you can see what I'm talking about. 
you can see it's there's some light scratches there but nothing that's going to affect the performance of it there's a little bit of adhesive or silicone still uh, a little silicone and adhesive still here but I don't see any glass. I don't feel any glass. I think we're going to be okay. You can see the way these are made. You, you wouldn't want to bend this channel here too much. Again, I, it scratched a little bit. That can be touched up later. But you just want to make sure that channel's not warped to the point where it's not going to work anymore and i think we did a pretty good job i think we did a decent job at keeping it properly intact all right so uh the next thing we're going to do is we'll take a look at this window and open that up and um and make sure i've looked at it once there's a little hole right there you can see so i've looked at it once how dumb am I? How dumb am I? I already had a pair on my hat. And none of you told me. Here's the new glass and there's something on it. This um this is tempered. You can buy uh, tempered and laminated, but that's twice as thick. And um, it wouldn't fit back in that frame. Laminated glass has two sheets like this, and the lamination goes between them. Um, but that looks really good. Okay, so this is the glass. It is uh, it's tempered, like I said. Um, there's some moisture here on either side. We we'll want to dry that off really good before we put it in. I'm going to take a few measurements. We'll make sure that this is exactly the right size and you see it's got a sharp 90 there on the bottom corners the top is rounded over so i'm also going to make sure that the radius on that curve is proper it should be but i just i want to double check before we try to put it in okay so that's it for today um obviously we cannot put the glass in the camper because it was the wrong size but that is why you measure before you try to put it in. Now, I could have measured before we even started, but the glass was already broken and most of it out, as you saw. So I went ahead and cleaned it up. Um, it's ready to go, so when the, the right glass actually gets here, and the company will have to make it right, I double-checked with the owner, and yes, he ordered it correctly. He ordered the right dimensions and the correct radius and the glass company which we won't mention they just kind of screwed it up and you know mistakes happen people are human so uh we will come back and and video and show you how the new glass goes in y'all have a great day i'll see you in a few okay so first things first we're going to unpack the glass then we're going to check it for fit here in the hole we'll take it back out then we'll take our sealant and lay a bead of silicone here along the lip all the way around. That provides the airtight seal for the, for the glass in the window. We put the glass back in and replace the trim that's here which helps secure it and hold it in place and uh, it makes it look nice. Uh, so here we go. Well, already it looks better. This is tinted. The the old, the uh, the wrong piece they sent us was not tinted, and this one is. The fit looks good.
Yeah, the fit looks really good. All right, let's get our silica. I always like to cut a smaller hole. It's easier to control the amount coming out. It might take a little longer to place it, but that's okay. All right, y'all, I'm, I'm sorry for the camera issues. I don't know why it keeps turning off. Um, but uh, anyway, you can see, I'll show you here how this works. And, and look, there's a little gap up here. Um, if you can see that, it's gonna focus. I'm gonna get a new camera. This isn't gonna work. Anyway, this rubber over time has shrunk, so it doesn't quite fit. I've gotta get a couple little short pieces to go down here on the corners. And I might just, if I can find this profile, just take this back out and replace all of the rubber trim. But this went in, if you could see, a few minutes ago, it went in with a, a rubber mallet. I was having a hard time with it because this was a very tight fit with the glass. Um, but it went in just fine. There's a little lip, if you can see under here, part of the trim fits under that lip and the rest of it snaps in behind this lip um, so I have to make sure it goes in correctly there's a lot of tape residue where we had this covered up I'll get some WD-40 and take that off that works really well for that but that's gonna be all for this video hope y'all enjoyed it maybe somebody learned something um, the main thing is 
you can replace this glass yourself without having to take the whole window out and take it in and have somebody um, replace the glass and then put it back in. To me, replacing the glass is easier than taking the window out and putting it back in. This is very similar, almost identical, virtually identical to the way that uh, residential um, windows um, are repaired. The way you replace a pane of glass in a residential single hung or double hung window. Uh, anyway, I'm done for now. Y'all have a great day and I will see you in the next one.